My name is Devante, and despite what things may seem, I'm far from perfect. Despite being a software engineer, I'm not the best at math, and I'm definitely not super smart. But what I certainly am is relentless. Let me tell you the story of how I went from not even knowing what an engineer was to making over $130,000 a year as a software engineer. The first step towards becoming anything is proper exposure. It's virtually impossible to get a career in tech if you aren't even aware of the opportunities available to you. And like a lot of kids growing up in inner city neighborhoods, my school didn't offer me this exposure. My journey began when I found Code Nation, a program designed to bring computer science lessons to schools that don't have them. And it was here that I began to learn the very basics of web development. Being exposed this early meant that when it would come time to seek more knowledge, I would have already become comfortable with the basics. Though honestly, a lot of that feels like it was luck, because if that program had chosen the school right across the street, I'd have been none the wiser. If you're watching this video, then in some way, shape, or form, you've already been exposed, which means you completed the first step. But now it's time for the hard part. When I turned 17, I had to make a choice that would decide what the rest of my life looked like. But in many ways, that choice had already been made for me. So I went to college where semester after semester, each calculus class dug into me deeper than tuition dug into my pockets. But worst of all, despite all these classes, I didn't really feel as though I was actually learning anything. I started to realize that the traditional path prescribed to me by my family was not right for me. I often found myself questioning the value of the knowledge I spent countless hours cramming into my head. Was I learning this because it was useful or because I needed to know it to pass a test? I would later learn that this was a symptom of an outdated education system no longer designed to set us up for success. Unless you're willing to shoulder the burden of a hefty student loan for the foreseeable future. Because only then could I have afforded to go to a school where the professors actually care and the curriculums make sense. But college wasn't a complete waste of time. When I left, I realized that this place taught me the value of being scrappy reaching for every resource available to you and using it to get ahead. But you can't learn that from books. You learn that through pressure, a trial by fire of sorts. So at the behest of family and the guidance of society, I had spent three years in college, but I couldn't see a clear path forward. It was supposed to be simple. I had done everything I was told and yet my future still felt so uncertain. I couldn't go on like this. And so I took a leap of faith. So what I'm about to show you is something that's never really been done before. It's one of a kind, but it's where my journey really began. Come with me. Welcome to the Marcy Lab School, a software engineering fellowship where I spent a year sharpening my mind, honing my skills, and expanding my network, all for the price of free 99. But the catch was, I had to be the first. So unfortunately for me, the Marcy Lab School at the time wasn't exactly a sure thing. We were a bit of an experiment because nobody had ever done this before. We pretty much started with just nine fellows and we spent a year trying to build this thing out. And it turned into something absolutely beautiful. We spent that year essentially learning how to efficiently digest large amounts of information in small amounts of time, which would allow us to be capable of learning any technology in any company. This meant having an emphasis on the foundations of software development, like data structures and algorithms, rather than learning specific tech stacks. Because with a strong foundation, you can essentially build anything on top of it. We'd begin every day with a code challenge on the same level as those you'd find in technical interviews. Because being able to get past that part of an interview process is table stakes. If you want to compete, you'll need to be ready for anything. Personally, I'd actually recommend Cracking the Coding interview by Gail McDowell if you're currently getting ready for job interviews. At the end of college, you're promised this piece of paper, and that is supposed to give you merit. That is supposed to say you're capable of doing this job. However, at Marcy, instead, your work and your experience is your merit. Now, if you don't exactly believe what I'm saying because I've gone through this program three years ago, how about we go in and talk to somebody who has more relevant experience? You there, my friend. Hello, tell me your name. 
Uh, my birth certificate says Isaac. What made you choose the Marcy Lab School? Oh, damn, that's a good question. Um, I feel like I would have wasted a lot of time in college, and thus I wanted to do something that was just like focused mainly on what I wanted to do, and not like all the other extra unnecessary things that are just gonna be draining my energy, time, and money. So I decided, you know, Marcy sounds pretty cool. Plus, you know, it's free. So like, yeah, and free coke. Amazing. Thank you very much. Hey, Tell me your name. Uh, I'm Chris. Christopher Pico. Why did you choose the Marcy Lab School over college? I was going to college during like the pandemic and I realized that people don't care about you there. I was trying to pursue a CS career. I would seek for help from my teachers or my classmates and they would say like, hey, like, yeah, I got you, but they never did. I felt like I was just being pushed to the side. No one really cared about that I was a beginner. I was looking for other places. One day I was just sitting on the couch. I was like, yo, God, like, see, is this for me? Please send me a sign. And like 10 minutes later, my girlfriend gets an email saying like, oh, join the Marcy Lab School. I'm like, Marcy? What is Marcy? I've been here for a year and it's been great. Like, I feel like people here support you. I should care about you. I learned so much in like, what, eight months? I could create a whole project if I wanted to. But yeah, like, I, that's how I found Marcy. And I'm glad I did. Hearing from the students is great and all, but I think I'd like for you to hear from the people behind this as well. Um, my name is Ruben Agbana, the co-founder and executive director of the Marcy Lab School. Why did you decide to create the Marcy Lab School? I started Marcy because while I was teaching high school, and while I was a leader and a dean at different high schools in the city, I saw over and over again really smart, talented, hardworking students uh, get into college every year, but then have to take out a bunch of student loan debt to finance it or go to colleges that were financially accessible, but that didn't have the resources to ensure that they graduated on time and landed incredible jobs once they graduated. It just felt like the system was broken um, and we weren't admitting it to the students who were falling into it year in and year out. My co-founder and I, Maya Bhattacharji, uh, we founded Marcy because we thought that there should be a better option for students, that college is a great option depending on the college that you choose, but there should be better options out there too. How is the Marcy Lab School free? How do you keep it free for each student? Yeah, uh, the Marcy Lab School is tuition free for all of our students. Our students come and they study here for a year and they graduate debt free and that's something that makes us really proud. Marcy is solving two really important problems that people care a lot about. Um, one, uh, this student loan debt crisis is real. And there are a lot of companies, there are a lot of individuals and foundations that care about seeing a solution to the student loan debt crisis emerge. And the second thing is that the tech sector is growing. It's like the primary driver of our economy and the nation. And even here in New York City, and there are a lot of people who want to see the tech sector look more diverse. Um, right now, the people who are building the products that we use every day don't necessarily look like the people who are using those products. When companies like JP Morgan, Microsoft, or Tiger, or generous, wealthy individuals invest in the Marcy Lab School. They sponsor tuition for our students. They're doing so because they know, um, and ultimately it will make the world a better place. The Marcy Lab School is here for young people who have a ton of potential, a ton of motivation, a ton of intellect, a ton of curiosity, and may not have found what they were looking for in college. And just because that didn't work for you doesn't mean that you don't have a pathway into a career like tech. Marcy had given me the gift of a marketable skill set. And so I went out and got my first offer, and the rest is history.